hard. So it cannot be table. So this one is the, this three will be strong key. Then use each attribute as the column of the relation. So for example, B date, address, salary, sex. What about the composite? Name, F name, mini, middle name, initial, last name. Composite, we cannot keep the composite attribute structure in relational model. Well, why? In, according to the relational model, relational model, each attribute should have one value. Okay? Atomic value, always. So, should be atomic value. So, we cannot keep such a structure. Instead, we need to keep either F name is the one attribute, middle name initial is one attribute, and last name is the one attribute, or all together as the one attribute. Okay? How can we decide each of them or all together? It depends. Always, <laughs> it depends on the application analysis. If your application access first name separately, middle name initial separately, last name initial separately, you'd better keep one, two, three. Or if your application access whole name together, you'd better use one column, one attribute. Okay? What else? Location. It's a double over. What does Double over means multiple, multiple value. value. However, relational model does not allow multi value. It should be single value. It should be atomic value. So, this one cannot be the attribute <laughs> column of this. We will discuss later. So, first step is create the relation, then create the attribute, okay, non-multi-value, and select the primary key. Okay. Next step is weak entity. Weak entity, what is a weak entity? It has only partial key. Then we find identifying relationship, right? Double diamond is identifying relationship. Then borrow. To identify the entity in the weak entity, we can borrow the primary key, uh, the key attribute of the identifying <laughs> relationship, right? So using that, we can make the primary key. Okay, for example, in this example, what is the prime what can be the primary key? Using this one, borrow SSN, so SSN plus name, dependent name will be primary key, composite, primary key, then create this. That's it? No. After that, you this ESSN, social security number, should be in the employee. So you can create the foreign key. So, to deal with, to convert the weak entity, create the relation. Then make the primary key, then create foreign key to specify the constraint of this one. That is the second step. So this is the current result. Current result, we create the strong entity. We convert the strong entity into the relation table at the employee department project. And each one has a primary key. Also, each attribute will be converted to the attribute or column of each relation, but not except the multivalued one. What about the uh, dependent is a weak entity, so weak entity can be the weak, weak entity can have the primary key by borrowing. Actually, it should be connected from that, then create the foreign key. The next one is, so we convert the entity, strong entity, and we convert the 
or weak entity. The next one is relationship kind. How many different types of relationship? Three. One to one, one to many, and many to many. First, we deal with one to one. It's a little bit tricky to deal with the one to one. What is the example of one to one in company entity relationship model? Manager. manager, right? So each department has the manager, it's a one to one. So we have the employee, we have department, department and manage one to one. This one has starting date, right? So it can be attribute of the, this one. Why? It's a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. So you can put where either either of the entity bar with better keep it over department to reduce the redundant information. Right? So this is the one-to-one -one relationship. So we convert to this one. We convert to this one. How can we handle this? There are three options to convert the one-to-one -one relationship to the relational model. First one is we can create manager social security number. Create add attribute. Then SSA. First option is using foreign key. That's it. Then this time start date is over here. Simple. The next option is we can create in between table, like the manager table. Manager table has a key of social security number or department ID. It doesn't matter either because both of them are unique. Yes. So you don't have to composite either of them. Then start date. Yeah. Then social security number should be exist here. Department number should exist here. You can create one in between table. Create a foreign key accordingly. That's the second option. Third option. What can be the third option? This is a one to one. Why don't we merge? So. No employee, no department, just a manager table. That include all of this. Yes, that makes sense. Wow. That can be possible. Yes. yes. Okay? Because it's a one-to-one -one mapping. Yeah. So there are three options. Each of them has characteristics. For example, when can you use the merging table? For example, can we use such an option for this? No, because we have others. And also, when you merge it, this one, each employee has, not all employees, some employee has department manager information, the others are not. Sometimes you have many null information. Okay, it's a, it's a waste of the space. So, one to one, the merge, when you merge one to one table, a one to one mapping into the one table at the time. So, actually, one table, but during the conceptual modeling, it's a separated. No other relationship. It's a actually originally one table. At the time, you'd better merge. What about this one? The second option, when can you use such an option? When you have many attributes for this, starting date, starting time, starting whatever, starting, that's only for manager information, right? It's not the department, it's part of department information, but it has many, many such additional information about the manager. At that time, you'd better separate the manager. That's the second option. The first option is the most popular. 
most of the case, 90, more than 90% of the case of the one to one will be foreign key is enough. In case you have the attribute, you can put over here. That is the uh, handling the one to one mapping. Okay. What about the one to many? We have a bunch of one to many relationship over here. This one, this one, this one. How can we handle it? How can we convert the one to many to relational model? Take all the many side and just the primary key. Primary key okay. using what? Using foreign, foreign key. key. Yes, foreign. foreign key is enough. Both side, for example, works for employee, works for department, specific department. So if we have the department ID, so that department ID should exist here. How can we keep such a constraint? Foreign key is enough. Okay. So as he mentioned, so many side. Add attribute that connect to the primary key of the one side. Let's see. That's the converting one to many relationship. Okay. The next one is many to many relationship. What is the example of the many to many relationship? For example, in our company database, work hour. Work hours. Okay. Any other? Yeah, we have a walk on. What other example? Many to many. Student course. Yeah. How many courses do you take? Many. 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 How many students each yeah. course has? Many yeah. students. It's a many to many. There are many, many to many relationship actually. Then, so we have the many to many. Then. So many to many to handle such a many to many relationship. Employee and project. We need to have the hours. For example, employee one. Employee one works on project A 10 hours. Employee one works on project B 20 hours. Employee two works on Put A, the 10 hours. At this time, you cannot move the, this information here. You cannot move this information to here. You need to create another one to keep such a many to many relationship information. It's an in between. So, for example, this is a box on. Table. What will be the key, primary key of this one? Employee and project. Social security number and project ID will be primary key. That's it? This one should exist here. This one should exist here. Two, four inch. Sometimes three. So any, the primary key of this one should have the four inch relationship. Ours is the attribute of this table. If you have more information, add, add. Okay? So that is a many to many relationship. One to one, three options. The first option is foreign key. The second option is the, mer the create in between and the foreign key. Third one is merge. The many to one is just nothing but foreign key. Clear. Many to one side. Okay? Many students actually confused. Definitely, it will be deducted on your exam. So many to one side. So that the many to many is a in between table. Then create a four inch. That's the reason. I'm not sure whether you realized during the exercise lab last week. So when you create the many to many relationship, you can convert. Or sometimes automatically create table or the entity. Yes. That is because of this. Okay. So it some of the modeling to automatically convert the many-to-many -many relationship into one table and two 
foreign key or to relationship. Sometimes you can convert. So why don't you click, right click? Did you do that? If you don't, if you didn't do this one, why don't you right click the many to many relationship? Then you can convert the entity or the table. Multivalue? So we location, for example. The problem of the relational database model is too strict, actually. Even one of the main reasons we really like to use the relational model is it's a simple, easy. We did only three weeks so far. You guys can understand what is a relational model and what is the orange the ER modeling, it's a very simple, but the problem is it's too strict. Too, uh, it's not very flexible. So, for example, multi-valued one. So everybody can define such a multi-valued. It's natural. However, relational model cannot handle such a multi-valued one. Whenever there exists multi-something, it's hard to identify which one is which, right? Like the, when you have the friend who are twin, it's a little bit confused. So, how can we address multi-valued? We cannot create the multi-valued color, multi-valued attribute. Instead, we need to create the table separately for that attribute. That is actually drawback. That is the reason relational database model actually has many, many tables after you finalize. So first you design this amount of the entity. But you may realize after you complete the, your database project is much, much bigger table because of the, this kind of restriction. So how to handle the multivalued one? So we can create the table, new relation. Then create the foreign key, for example. Here, location of the department. It cannot be attribute. Instead, we need to create department location table. Okay? So like the department location. Then, how to identify such a location? So for example, HR has three offices. One is in New York. Another one is LA. On the third one is Dallas. How can you identify specific office? Department number plus location name. That is the key. If you have additional information like the address or the number of employees, other information you can add over here. Then, that's it? No. You need to create the foreign key. This de department number should depend on the key number in department. The last one is NRA relationship. So we learned about the NRA relationship like the a supply. So supplier supply item to the project. So one relationship and three of them are involved. At that time, there's no way to create the directly NRA relationship. Instead, we can convert into, we can create the in between table relation, like the supply. So for NRA relationship, we can create a relation. S name, project name, and part number will be the primary key of the supply, then create the foreign key, like this. Okay. This is a summary of the mapping ER model to relational model. The remainder is uh, ER model concept, we will cover the ER part step 8 and step 9, the other part, the next class. So you may have the homework uh, that during the previous one. I will extend the due date of the homework by the coming Tuesday, okay, because of the canceled class. Uh, I don't know the due date of the exercise lab, the GA. 
is in charge of the homework, I will ask him or email him whether it can be extended, the due date. Okay? Any question? So I'm probably I'm going to change the exercise lab schedule because of the cancelled class, and so uh, I will let you know that maybe next week the reschedule the exercise lab. But I will keep the section. Okay, so as you probably realize, the first section is full of the student. If possible, please attend the second section. That will be much more comfortable for you to do exercise lab. Okay, I'm very sorry. Uh, the, such a, this semester is I first time to have the 50, almost 50 students. Should be uh, divided into two sections, but it's not, unfortunately. Even I have the undergraduate student. But I will try to my best. Any question? Okay, thank you, and see you next week.